head on daytime buffalo. Fall in love with everything Gray Line Niagara has to offer. You hear all about their tours that you can check out this spring. And feeling crafty? Find out where you can rent tools for all of your DIY desires. It's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Our first guest today is no stranger to the area. Thank you, Verity Folin, uh, Director of Sales with Grayline Niagara Tours, for coming by and stopping by our studios. Thanks for having me today. I really appreciate it. Now, for our viewers that might not know, because we all learned this, by the way. It's crazy what the internet can teach you. So today is Niagara Falls Runs Dry Day. And for our viewers that don't know, it's the date in which we commemorate the period in 1848 when Niagara Falls dried up due to ice blockages, making the water fall impassable for two days. Now, while we celebrate, we are glad that that is not currently happening. In fact, right now is a perfect time to get out to the falls and experience it all that it has to offer, right, Verity? Yes, indeed. Now tell me a little bit more about Grayline. So Grayline itself, um, worldwide we are actually the largest sightseeing brand, um, but every single one is independently owned and operated. So we operate in Niagara Falls, USA, Niagara Falls, Canada, and we also do serve the Buffalo market as well. Um, we run daily sightseeing tours um, and they're, they're run on a seasonal basis. So we offer different experiences depending upon the season. And we do offer tour experiences on both sides of the border. Nice. Now, what's going on this season? How long are the tours running for? Absolutely. So right now, we're just wrapping up our winter season with our Power of Niagara, uh, American and Canadian Stories. Those tours will take you up and down the gorge on either side. Um, the U.S. one will take you to the New York Power Vista, as well as out onto Goat Island. And you can also explore the Cave of the Winds right now. Um, they are actually in the process of putting up their decks. So right now, we do just the gorge walk. As we make our way into the season, we do our, or excuse me, we're going to be launching our most popular tour here very soon as the boats go into the water. Uh, that's our Made in America tour. That one's a very classic tour. It's great to take your family on. It highlights the Made of the Mist boat cruise, as well as the Cave of the Winds in its full glory with the decks. You get to stand at the hurricane deck and you actually get to feel Bridal Veil Falls coming down on you. Oh my goodness. That's it's incredible. really exciting. Um, in addition, our guides actually take you through the state park they tell you about all the history and the fun facts, the daredevils, the people who have come to visit previously, um, you know, notable people from fame to politicians and such. So they offer you a very broad spectrum experience along with the attractions that are available in the area. And how gorgeous is it just to look at, let alone getting to go on a boat and really like feel the water. I went to Niagara Falls when I first moved here over the summer. Um, I didn't do the, the boat tours, but I just being there and feeling the water and seeing all of the rainbows that form constantly. It is so magical. So you talked about it. So the boat tour is kind of the most popular one, right, you'd say? So that is part of our most popular tour. That's our Made in America tour. Um, and that boat cruise is included with uh, within the four hour experience. We do also head over onto the Canadian side and there is the boat cruise that is available within some of our tours over there. Um, in addition to many other attractions that are included in some of the different ones there too. And we even have an illumination tour that goes out at night where you get to see the illumination of the falls and the fireworks nightly so it's it's a really really nice opportunity if you're visiting the area now for someone that gets to work and this and experiences yeah. every day i want to know what your favorite thing about Ni niagara falls is oh gosh that's pretty broad um <laughs> You know, to be very honest, one of my favorite things to do are to bring people who have never seen the falls before, because as a local, you kind of take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And then when you take people for the very first time to actually go and stand at the edge of the falls and to see it, that awe-inspiring experience for them and just the look on their face, is so worth it and it you know it not only makes it memorable for them it's you know it's something that you remember all the time as well 
No, I know personally, my family told me when I moved up here, they were like, if I don't see you by October, <laughs> then I'm not seeing you until spring again in <laughs> Buffalo. Yes. So that's good news. I am sure a lot of us have family that's like, oh, okay, there's no more snow. Well, not today, but yes. you know, <laughs> soon it's gonna be nice weather in Buffalo. Of course we'll come up and visit. So this is the perfect thing to do, yes. to take family and friends to see. Uh, if you would like to find out more information and, and sign up for a tour, you can do so by heading over to their website at graylineniagarafalls.com. Verity, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much for having me. This has been a pleasure. Coming up after the break, we get Cheesy in the Kitchen with Cheesy Chick, here to show me how they make their amazing creations in the daytime Buffalo kitchen. And this is not a drill. We sit down with the Tool Library to discuss everything that you can check out. That's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo.